Hi, my name is Brianne Hershowski, and I'm sorry I couldn't be there for Fall of the Schedule Night, but I wanted to be able to give you some of the information that will be happening this year in our 8th grade science class. First of all, a little bit about me. Um, this is my 7th year teaching. Currently this year I have two classes at Memorial and three at Shore. My husband also teaches at Shore, um, James, and we've been married for three years. I am the assistant varsity volleyball coach at the high school, and this is... Um, very exciting because I grew up in mentor schools and now I get to teach here. So um, I went to Reynolds, went to Ridge, graduated from the high school in 2006, and then I've been teaching here ever since. For classroom materials, I just ask the students every day to bring their iPad charged. Um, they should have earbuds or headphones with them. Uh, two folders is great only because halfway through the year, usually the first one's pretty damaged and beat up. So if they could bring two and then a pencil and notebook paper or a notebook. For the iPads, um, this isn't something that we use every day in class. Sometimes we'll use them only for five minutes. Sometimes, you know, we'll use a majority of the class. Sometimes we won't use them at all. Uh, one thing that I ask is that the iPads are always face down when the bell rings. The students understand that I will sign the back of their iPad if that's not done. It is important that they come to school with their iPads charged. It helps to make sure that the class um, operates quickly and smoothly if all of their devices are working and ready to go. Um, as far as apps that we use, the ones that are most commonly used are Schoology, Seesaw, Socrative, and a QR code reader. Schoology and Seesaw, you both, parents have the opportunity to also be on there to see what their students are submitting and as far as their work goes. Um, those codes will come out to you in the next week or two. Finally, I have Remind as a way to send home messages. The students have signed up for this already. I have also provided copies here tonight for you to pick up if you would like to sign up as well, and the directions are all on there. Schoology is the main site that I use. Um, it acts as our school or as our class website. On here I'll put the daily agendas, any notes that we take in class. I make video lessons uh, for our units. Um, discussion posts are there. All of their tests and quizzes are there as well. Whenever a student is absent, this is the first place that I want them to look. Here it will list what we did in class and what they need to do. And like I said on the previous slide, parent codes will be sent home next week. Something I do that may be a little bit different than other classes is I offer retakes. So we have about seven or eight units this school year that we'll be covering. Each unit we divide into sections, so these are just smaller pieces. At the end of each section, which takes anywhere from a week or two to complete, there's going to be a quiz, and this quiz is on Schoology, and they'll take that in class. These quizzes are about 10 questions. After they submit the quiz, I look at the results. 80% or above, a student is now considered into enrichment. Here, they'll usually move towards the back of the classroom where they'll work on a STEM project or a challenge with groups um, because they've tested out of that section. 79% and below must be in reteach. They'll come up to the front of the classroom and work with me in a small group setting where we'll go over any of the items that are confusing or things that they need to um, here again, and then the next day they'll do a retake. The retake is not the same exact quiz, but it's over the same concepts, and whatever score they get replaces the score. Um, if they by chance score lower, they would still keep the higher score, but that rarely happens. At the end of all of the sections is the unit test. So these are all of the sections compiled into one test. Um, there are no retakes on this, but hopefully since throughout the sections they've had opportunities for reteach, the unit test should be um, much, much more easy at that point. We also have vocabulary tests throughout the year. Those ones do not have retakes either. And all of their vocabulary words are, are, um, will be put into Quizlet so that they can use those to study um, however they wish. The gradebook is set up into three categories. 50% uh, is summative. Those are those tests, projects, quizzes, any big lab reports that we do go into the summative section. Formative is going to be homework if we ever have any. Um, to be honest, we don't. I never really assign homework. The only time they'll have homework is if they don't finish something in class. Um, but they will rarely, if ever, have homework in here. Um, smaller quizzes, any activities, small labs, those will go into formative. And then 10% is for Achieve 3000. When Achieve 3000 is signed, if they get a 75% or above on their activity score, they get a 10 out of 10 in the gradebook. Um, for thought questions, I'll give them a rubric, but those come to anywhere from 8 to 10 points as well. 
If they do not score 75% or above on an Achieve article activity, they are welcome to choose a new activity within the next couple days and submit that again and they can redo their score. Um, I do send out a lot of emails. I will send out missing assignment reports, um, any just information that I think is important for parents to know, and I'll always send those through Infinite Campus. So it's important that you have your emails updated on there. Um, during now, right now during volleyball season, I'm only available in the mornings if a student needs help, but they're more than welcome to stop in. Once volleyball season ends, um, I'm a lot more open after school. And if you need me at all, please don't hesitate. You can email. I told the students they can message me on Schoology. Um, but please don't hesitate. If there's anything that I need to know or any questions that you have, um, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'm looking forward to working with your son or daughter this year, and I think it's going to be a really good year. Thank you.